Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is magnetic cereal and the secret ingredients. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is cereal with iron in it, a clear cup, a spoon or a fork, a Ziploc bag, and very strong magnets. Dun, da, 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 da. Dun, cereal! <laughs> Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. You gotta wait for, us, for me to sit down, don't you? <laughs> My <laughs> I'm name's the Ken. Star of the show. My name's Ken and the star? Grace. Grace, all right. So, what do we have here? Total cereal. Total cereal. It's it? 100%. Well, it's zero sugar, so you probably wouldn't like it, right? And so, how much iron is in here? Because we know there's a lot of vitamins and minerals, but how much iron? Iron, 100%, 100%. 100% so it's 100%. Iron. So this is the same kind of iron that are made out of nails, right? And they put it in your cereal, and we're going to show you this iron with this experiment. There's a lot of 100%. Like, they're pretty good <laughs> vitamin B. Uno, dos, tres. Ugh. All right, rip Ugh. that box open. I'm really bad. First time opening one? No. Have you well, opened cereal before? Yeah, but... but it's never been this hard? No. <laughs> there, there you go. I don't see any of that. Wait, can I throw the box? Sure. Don't. There you go. Don't need no box. We just need to open this up. We're going to pour some into a bag. We're going to extract the iron out of the total cereal. These are supposed to be 100%. And we're going to find out how much there is, right? So, now remember, don't spill it. That doesn't seem to be working, Grace. <laughs> it's mine. Oh, cereal. All right. That's good. After Grace spills half of it. All right. So now we got the cereal in a Ziploc, and we're going to put some water in it. You want to do that? Sure. Can you get it in? <laughs> yes. Uh, so put water. Yeah. And then we're going to close it. And you got to let it sit for about 20 minutes. So we'll check back after 20 minutes. Two hours later. Oh, we're back. Okay. We're back. All right. So we had to wait um, 20 minutes so this becomes big mush right here, right? I would so, not want to eat that. No. It kind of looks like pumpkin pie. It does. Like, and so what we're going to try to do is pull the iron out of it, right? So I'm going to switch the camera around and we're going to put it down. And then we're going to take a high power magnet and we're going to try to pull the iron out. All right, so we took the, the solution we had in the, in the Ziploc bag, and we put it in a cup, um, and we're gonna, Grace is going to swirl it around and hold the magnets to the side of the cup to try to get the iron to separate from the, pull it up a little bit halfway and spin it around. And now pull it away, pull the magnet away. Oh, oh you see the iron? That's cool. Did you see it? Right here. There's the, some of the iron right there. That's so cool. Huh? Woo! Let's do some so more. So the science behind this, believe it or not, many Let's breakfast cereals over. contain pure iron. Basically, it's yeah, the same right thing that's here. used to make it? nails that you might use to build your house. Iron is an essential nutrient for your I'm elements. It so it's added to cereals to make it more mm -hmm. nutritious. Yeah. Hydrochloric acid and other chemicals in your digestive yeah, system wow. track change the tiny yeah, particles of iron in the cereal mm -hmm. that form into your body and absorb them. The red blood cells contain a compound that carries oxygen. Yeah, yeah, that compound it, molecule is made up of closer. iron and other elements. The lack of iron can cause fatigue, reduce resistance to sickness and disease, and increase heart and respiratory rate. So it's very important to get your iron intake. Here, what we're doing is just pulling it out by slushing around the liquid in the total cereal and putting the heavy magnet on the outside, and as you can see, pulling out the iron inside the cereal, which is pretty cool. So the more liquidy it is, and you swirl it, you get the iron to separate out of the cereal, and then let go, and look at that. That's so a that's lot of iron. iron. That's the same kind of iron that you get if, if, if that's made out of a nail. <laughs> Isn't that, whoa, <laughs> you're moving it. I'm moving iron. That's awesome can't see it though cool all right well that's how you separate iron out of a cereal one more time 
Oh, that's a lot. Nice. All right. All right. So what we're doing here is Grace has picked out some of the larger pieces. I've never seen a piece that big before. I was going to say that's the biggest. And we know there's iron in these pieces. So we're going to lay it on top of water and then see if we could pull them with a magnet. So we'll try this piece first. And then Grace is going to grab the magnet and put it close to it, not on it, and see if it pulls towards it. Is it pulling towards it? Yep. Don't let it touch. So it is pulling towards it. So you can see the iron in it is actually attracted to it, right? Woohoo! Right, cool. What happens All if right. you touch it? It'll go right to it. It'll stick to it. You can probably pick it up. No. No, it's not strong enough. And it's strong enough to pull. Oh! Strong enough to pull, but it won't attach to it, right? Let's try another piece. Okay. It becomes... As long as it's buoyant, then it should it should pull towards you. There it goes. <laughs> that one's. That one's really moving, huh? That one probably has more iron in it. Yeah, it's bigger. Let me try it. So yeah. Okay, here. So far, actually, the smaller one works oh. best. This one kind what? of It's like I have a string on it. Okay, that video seems really interesting. Oh, and um, that video too. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking right now, those two videos, click on them at the same time. And those two. And the red subscribe button down below. And um, yeah, I'm thinking, um, thank you, uh, bye, those two videos too.